fury at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee has exploded, as a former Labour MP has hit out at the gross celebration referencing the cost of living crisis, Laura Pitcock hit out at unadulterated, unaccountable wealth, privilege, power and exploitation. Writing on Twitter, the former MP for Northwest Durham said, I just feel like there is a real grossness to the state-driven Jubilee celebration fanfare. People are skint getting so much more skint and full of worry and we are supposed to go out and celebrate 70 years of unadulterated, unaccountable wealth, privilege, power and exploitation? Dot many people on Twitter agreed with Ms. Pitcock, with one, at Epidemiology 76, writing, it describe it as obs- The Queen could have done the decent thing months ago and said cancel all celebrations and take the money that would have been spent and spread it across her most vulnerable subjects to help them but know it's all about them. Dot another, Beth Fazakerly, at Beth Fasak, wrote, Laura totally with you on this. Dot she is the richest person in the world, owns a huge amount of what the royals bring in as a draw of tourists does not touch the wealth they but others hit back at her comment with some reminding her that nobody is forcing her to celebrate the event. Any, at Henriques and Jensen, wrote, If you don't want to celebrate this event then don't. Nobody is forcing you to dot. Remember though, there are many people who would like to celebrate this. Maria Clara Ibarri de los Santos, at Clara de los, described Ms. Pitcock's comment as a strange take, writing, Even people from all over the world are coming in to celebrate bringing in business after a long COVID lockdown and many businesses going on. I'd have thought this would be a welcome thing to Brits. Strange take there, Ms. Pitgott. Angela, at Lee underscore R underscore B, agreed, writing, I completely disagree. The money would not have been given to the people that as a nation we should celebrate our queen and what she has done for us. I think people forget the amount of money the royal family bring into this country. I'd have thought this would be a welcome thing to Brits. Strange take there, M's. Pitcock, Angela, at Lee underscore R underscore B, agreed, writing, I completely disagree. The money would not have been given to the people that need it. As a nation we should celebrate our queen and what she has done for us. I think people forget the amount of money the royal family bring into this country. More than 200,000 lunches are expected to be held this Sunday to commemorate the mile. A total of 85,000 people have registered an interest in holding a lunch, significantly more than the 64,000 that registered an interest in doing the same for the Diamond Jubilee 10. Many more last-minute bids are expected to be lodged in the days leading up.